um, I will stick to the financial, uh, sorry, to the price stability issue that we're addressing in this session. Um, the question I have is really about the transmission mechanism that uh, operates when you intervene uh, on, on, you know, with the objective of keeping prices between zero and plus two percent. Really, um, it strikes me that um, I was listening to to, um, to Jean Claude Trichet recently, who very interestingly said that when he was president of the ECB. Um, you know, he basically they reached the target of plus two percent less little something each year, uh, year after year, and he was not taking pride of that. He was saying that at the time it was possible to do it. And it strikes me that under President Draghi or under you, uh, President Lagarde, the situation is much more difficult. I don't even admit it. It's because you're doing less good a job than uh, than uh, Jean Claude Trichet was doing. But the context has changed, and I have two questions for you. Um, the first question is, don't you think the transmission mechanism by which your operations influence the economy has, if not broken down, at least being, is, is being much less efficient? And what I mean by that is that effectively you inject liquidity to financial institutions and financial institutions you know, provide less and less support to the real economy. And if they don't provide support to the real economy, by definition, your action is not going to reach the real economy and therefore will have less impact on prices. So I would like to reflect with you, and that's certainly something we've been pushing and saying at Finance Watch, on whether the structure of the financial system okay. could not be a hindrance to your price stability uh, policy. Thank you. In particular, and I'll finish Sorry, here, briefly, uh, please. in the context of uh, a depressed aggregate demand following the current situation and obviously the COVID uh, situation. 